Hey, good morning, YouTube. Middleton uh, Mariner, state pipe from the 1970s with uh, velvet, a little bit of velvet left. What's everybody doing, man? I'm getting over a head cold. Yeah, this was like the fifth head cold I've had since uh, September. Well, I guess I'm averaging one a month. This is beyond annoying. I had a physical last week. Told the doctor about it. He just said, you know, you're getting older now. and It's like when you're a little kid, he said, you pick up everything. Well, he said, when you get over 60, you start picking up everything. Oh, okay. This one was like a three-day or so. Got it late Wednesday night, and now I'm feeling like 98% better. Heading to work here a couple hours. Uh, yeah, so I was at, uh, where was I at? I was at the Target, ran to the Target yesterday real quick before uh, work, after church, and... Uh, Came out of the car with the pipe in my mouth, as always, you know, and uh, just having a few more puffs before I put it in my uh, coat pocket. And a uh, lady, young lady, probably in her 30s, gave me the most dirtiest look. First of all, I don't think she knew what it was. I, I really don't. And then when she saw the smoke coming out, I don't know if she thought it was weed or she just gave me the most bizarre ogling stare. Uh, just bizarre. Uh, I was waiting for her to say something, but uh, she didn't say something, anything. So uh, she went to, went on her car and I, you know, Put the pipe in my pocket and went about my business in Tarjay. But uh, it's amazing how people don't are not aware of pipe smoking. The younger people. And even people our age, or my age I should say, that are unaware that it still goes on. It just amazes me. Uh, you know, I, uh, you know me, I always got a pipe going. I'm always clenching uh, in my car or whatever. And, you know, I'll get some ogles and get some stares. This isn't the first time. I have not received any Karen moments yet or ignorant comments, but, yeah, you never know. So, uh... What else? Hey, we're warming up today. It's about 35. First day in a, about a week, we're going to be above freezing. And I uh, want to revisit a story. Uh, my pipe men mentor. Uh, my buddy's dad was a pipe smoker. Uh diehard clencher like me and uh, I was about 17 maybe almost 18 and I purchased my first pipe at uh, the now defunct grade drugstore drug chain that J.C. Penney's owned at the local mall and uh, my buddy's dad Mr. N he uh Smoke Kentucky Club regular, and I always enjoyed the room note of that. So, uh, not knowing what to buy, so I go and buy me a pack of Kentucky Club, and lo and behold, next to it was Middleton's Cherry and Sale Yellow. So, oh, big shot, right? So, I buy all three. Dude, I bet you it didn't cost me 
three bucks for those three bags of tobacco. They're probably under three bucks, right? Probably 79 cents, 89 cents. Anyway, go get the Dr. Grabo, right? Uh, that was probably under five bucks. I don't remember. So, I'm all proud. Got my new pipe, and I'm doing everything wrong, of course. I don't know anything, right? I just know it smells good, and I want to smoke a pipe. So, um, I don't know anything about tamping. I don't have a tamper, uh, what have you. Speaking of that, <laughs> need a little tamp. British 303 from my buddy in England, Mr. Keith Farmer. Anyway. Or was I? I don't know anything, right? So I'm getting tongued by... My tongue's like... Uh, like a nuclear power plant, you know? It's melting. All nine yards. So I tell Mr. N about it. And uh, we're up in this... You know, beautiful, beautiful... Uh, wood shop, workshop. Uh, on, uh, detached from the house. In the backyard. And this this dude was one of these men that I always envied. Uh, my first wife's dad was like this. Uh, I've had some neighbors like this. They could fix anything. They could make anything. They could repair a rocket ship, a Sherman tank, a 72 Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, they could build a house. They could rewire, they could plumb, they could do carpentry, they could gunsmith, they could do anything. One of them guys, I'm sure you may be one of them. You may be one of them, and you may know some of them, or somebody who's like that. Well, anyway, I tell Mr. N, right? What the heck I do my lighter? Oh, I tell Mr. N, uh, I'm crying a blues about the tongue bite and everything, you know. So I'll never forget what he told me. He got that K. Woody in his mouth. You know, at the time, I didn't know what it was a K. Woody. But years later, I come to figure it out it was a K. Woody. And that Kentucky club's going. And he was like a, oh, he was probably, what, in his late 40s then, you know. Good grief. And uh, he goes to me, uh, Dave, he goes, I'm so glad you're smoking a pipe. It's way better than them coffin nails, meaning cigarettes. He said, but it's not the pipe, it's you. And I just stood there and he was absolutely right. And then he mentored me. He taught me how to tamp and the whole nine yards, but. Everybody that starts pipe smoking, including me, blames the pipe or the tobacco. No, 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 no. It is you. You. You got to learn how to smoke a pipe. I always remember that. Mr. N's long gone past now, but... I always remember that. It's not the pipe, it's you. Boy, was he right. Well, uh, after that, like I said, he, he taught me how to smoke. My dad didn't smoke a pipe. Uh, my dad was a cigarette smoker. He started smoking cigarettes at age 11 in Wales, in the United Kingdom. And uh, he quit smoking cigarettes when he was 38, I believe. Uh, when uh, his doctor told him you're going to keep smoking them cancer sticks or you're going to die. So my dad qu uh, started early but quit early. So, uh, and I had no pipe smoking family relatives. Uh, so uh, Mr. N was my pipe mentor. It's always good to have a pipe mentor and I really appreciate the fact that I had one. So, uh, hope you have a good day. Eh, thanks for chatting with me. Most appreciative. We'll see you guys. Bye.